Hi guys, Squirrel here, and uh, today I'm going to take out this tank. This is the British Matilda tank. Um, this is a interesting and difficult tank to play. Unfortunately, I do have to play it, because if we look at the tech tree for Great Britain, you see I've gone down this line here of medium tanks, and in order to progress past the Matilda to get to this wonderful beast, the Churchill, I've got to go through the Matilda. And it's well known that the Matilda is um, not the best tank in the world, let's put it that way. It's a tier 4 tank, and if we go and look at the tech tree for this thing, you can see I've got 5,000 XP on it. I need 11 and a half just to get over to that Churchill, but on the way I've also got to pick up a couple of more things. The thing is about this tank is... Okay, I spent quite a few games really frustrated with the Matilda until I worked a few things out. Uh, the first thing is it's really, really slowly, so there's no way I can go across the map. Effectively, it means I've either got to go into a defensive position or pretty near to my starting home base, my flag, and you know that seems to be the best role for it because my maneuverability is so poor. The second thing is, it has quite a few hit points. It's got 340 hit points, which for a tier four medium tank is quite decent. And it also has quite nice armor. Now I've got this turret on here. This has given me 75 armor from front sides and rear. And if I upgrade to this other turret here, I don't really get any benefit. So I've not done that. Um, the basic hull armor is 70, 70, and uh, sorry, 75, 70, and 55. So it's it's quite it's quite well armored with a lot of hit points. You can see it's got this kind of side plating on it here. So there aren't that many weak spots to this thing. And what I've discovered is that the Matilda can take a bit of a battering. So I'm going to show you a game shortly where I do exactly that. I actually do quite well in the tank. The thing is about this particular tank, it's all about playing it correctly it can take a battering but here's one interesting thing about it this is the gun I'm using now let's, let's look at the starter gun the starter gun does 78 121 23 penetration with an average of 50 damage this gun does 121 stroke 145 damage uh, penetration but only does 55 damage now what that means is this gun does very very high penetration but it only does 55 damage. But with a fire rate, I can get a shell out about every about every two seconds approximately. It means that most of my shells are going to penetrate, but I'm only going to do 55 damage. The trick for me is to keep on pummeling away. I've got to hit, move, hit, 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 move. I've got to play it smart, otherwise I'm going to get decimated. I didn't like the idea of upgrading to this thing, the howitzer. Although this does stupendous damage, it does 175 stroke 110 damage. The penetration is lousy. I mean, I would just be ricocheting left, right, and centre with this gun. So I stuck with this one. I thought, let's get let's get guaranteed damage. You know, I've said it before. I do like having um, a high penetration value when I, I use the gun on the tank, and so this gun suits my particular style. Now we start off with a base 350 signal range, and I can take that up to 450. But I've just left it at 350. It's got a quite um, a good view range. This tank. And I have upgraded the engine, but as you'll see, I've gone from a, a 174 to a 190 horsepower. It's the biggest engine I can put in it. And this thing is still slow as hell. Um, I've not upgraded the tracks. There's not actually a, a massive gain in the tracks. I'm probably just going to need the tracks when I want to put this turret on it, I guess. Um, but what I'm trying to do is grind this tank's XP through so I can get on over to the Churchill. Now, all my crew are trained up. They're all on 100%. They're all working on uh, camouflage, off-road driving, and six sense skills. And I am using standard armor. I am not using pay-to-win armor, as they call it. I don't really need it, to be honest, because my, my gun already does an awful lot of penetration. So I'm sticking with the normal shells, and that's what I've been advised to do anyway. And also, the other thing I'm doing is I'm only taking one small repair kit, and I have it automatically supplied. Now, these things do cost three grand a pop. So I'm trying to minimise the amount of consumables that I that I use. Um, that's it. I haven't really got any. Uh, I haven't put any camouflage on it or anything, which is a thing I could do. I could put a camouflage net on, but um, you know, this is more of a campy tank. You need to, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time in a bush behind a rock, and so a camouflage unit would make sense. Um, but I just 
didn't want to spend a hundred grand. I really want to just grind through this tank as quickly as I can. Anyway, let's get on with the game. Okay, serene coast, as I always say this. I've got some mods running, uh, which <clears throat> I had a chap called James, a Czech guy, who uh, one of my subs. He came in and really helped me out, helped Chris and I out. Um, and he also told us about some mods which I've got installed. You can see they give quite a lot of information about the other tanks. And they also give a wonderful new uh, targeting system, which I really like. Particularly when it's zoomed in, when you go into uh, sniper mode. Really nice. I think um, I've got no chance if I go left side here, because that's really, really hilly up the left. And I can't get back here. Behind, I can't climb those rocks. So I think I might head over there towards the water. Maybe play the kind of defensive position in that middle ground. Watch I've got to get over this track first, but uh, I've got... Uh, you can't, I can't believe the speed of this tank. Did anybody, seriously, in real life, make a tank that went this slow? You probably have people just walking past them going, What are you doing, bro? But, yeah, a lot of people have gone up... I, I like to call that Sniper Hill up there. Um, it's a bit of a risky spot that one. I've been up there before and teammates come up behind you and they start shooting and then you ultimately get wasted. It's never worth it. If I can make it over this track before any of the light tanks come, oh god there's one already. See my 350 viewing range is kicking in nicely. I'm gonna get behind. I don't know if he's seen me. I'll have to assume he has seen me. I'm gonna keep moving. I don't know if they've got any SPGs. Oh, I've got two. He's taking a shot on me. Oh, that was a good hit. Back up, back up. Shit, four tanks coming my way. I've got one flipping teammate with me. Come on, buddy, come on. Have some of this. Got some more. Let's get an angle on him. Angle. He's trying to ram me, I think. Turn. Oh, God, that turret's so slow. Missed? Come on, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, you're so dead, buddy. Right, there's one's gone that way. Can I get a shot on him? Damn it, missed. I need to stay behind this rock. There's two guys, I think, on the other side of this rock. Uh, okay, that's interesting. That's got to have been a shell from a self-propelled gun, I reckon. In which case, the best thing I can do is get behind this rock. Wait till they disappear off his radar. He shouldn't be able to shoot me. I'm assuming he's over in his base down there. And his artillery won't be able to land a shot on this side of the rock. So I'm just going to hold up here for a second. That guy's back at the... He's right at the back of our map. I don't know what his plan is, but hello. We nailed him back. This gun is so... They're knocked out. It just penetrates every time. It's amazing. I love this gun. Not two out. I'm actually doing better than anybody else on my team right now. Although I am completely alone, I feel somewhat exposed. When I get spotted, I like to just keep moving a little bit because I am conscious of having played these bloody artillery guns. You know, if you don't keep moving, there's so much harder to land artillery on a moving tank. Oh god. Let's see if I can get an angle on this guy if he, if he wants to come over and play. This bush should give me some cover. Wow, he's moving quick. Come on. He's seen me. He must have seen me. Time to use this rock. Come on, buddy. Step out. Oh, shit. That one over the top. Uh-oh. Shit, I've got two on me and I can't move. I'm not using my repair kit. I've actually taken no damage. This is amazing. Can I finish? Oh, he's nearly dead. My track's working and I still haven't taken any damage. This is amazing. This tank is built like a tank. <laughs> Seriously, how have I not taken any 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 damage? That's uh, that's perplexing actually. And one of the things I've learned is about angling. So you know, people shoot at you. You know, frontal armor is obviously the best, but angle it. So just, you know, because it helps with the thickness, it helps with the deflection. I'm going to try and get a position on this guy. I reckon he's still around the back of that rock. Oh, shit. Turn, 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 turn. Enemy is hit. 
Okay, looks like we're going to have it out. Let's get some angle. Come on, buddy. You still can't hit me. You can't hit me. I'm so going to kill you. Bye. Good night, Sonara. See you, mate. Oh, that didn't go in. That one did. Not a sing... Not a scratch. Hello. Fuck. I can't hit him. Oh, but my SPG's coming in. Can I get a shot on this guy? That's three tanks I've taken out. I've not taken a single hit point. Holy crap. Shot. Why did that not go in? I hit him. He's pointing right at this bush now. If I take a step out behind that rock, he's going to have a free shot on me. But I think he's backed off. Maybe my teammate's going to go over there. If he can spot him, I'll get a shot. This bush is good, actually, between these two rocks. This is going to stop me from being seen. This is actually quite a good position to be in. As long as I don't get flanked. But I figure I've got a guy on G3. He should hopefully see anything... Anything coming down uh, the rail track to my rear. So my flank hopefully is covered, providing he's not asleep at the bloody wheel. And you really do get some derping teammates in this game. What are we on now? We're on f uh, five tanks versus four. One of them's over there. One's near that track at C4. He's too far away right now. I reckon... Oh, maybe he's not. Shit. He's coming this way. Need to use some cover here. So there's two I know of. One behind this rock and one over at the enemy flag. Now, we've, if he comes forward this way, he's going to get it from me, which he may not know about, and he's going to get it from my teammate on G3. So I think I'm just going to wait here a second. Obviously, my tank, my, my turrets, uh, my gun's zoomed in and focused, so if he steps out, I'll get a free shot, and I can just jump back behind this rock if he's stupid enough to move forward. Oh, look, there's another one coming in, teammate, F3. Patience, Padawan. Patience. There he is. There he is. Lead the shot. That's two behind the rock. Oh, I've knocked his tracks out. Oh, fantastic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I get him? Can I get... Keep going, keep going. Shit. Oh, come on. I missed. Yes, I got him. Fantastic. That's four. They've got two left. This is a... This is a five-on-two battle now. This is looking good. Now, I do know about that guy. They've got to be in the defensive... They've got to be over by that flag. They're not attacking. Those guys on Sniper Hill up there are not having a great time. Although, I think they had their big battle before. But I'm just going to camp it here. Hello. Customer. He doesn't know about me. Looks like that one went right through. Oh, it just goes through like a hot knife through butter. What a gun. It might only be 55 a shot, but that freaks the hell out of other players taking damage like that. Even when they're angled, I'm just going straight through. It's awesome. The gun on this tank is brilliant. The trouble is the tank's shit, apart from the armour. It's so unmanoeuvrable. I get a light tank and run rings around me, I just can't do a damn thing about it. But in this game, I think I've found a nice spot here. And I seem to have got my flank completely covered. I reckon we're in quite a strong position right now. I'm not sure whether I should move forward or not, to be honest. Now he's moving. Oh. Oh, my teammate just got killed by that guy. Oh, we're there somewhere. Bugger. If I get a shot on him, I'll finish him off, but he keeps going behind that bloody house. I was wondering about moving forward then until I just saw my teammate get trashed. The thing is, we're a bit of a standoff. What? Why is that guy lighting up sectors that I'm actually looking at? Does he think there's somebody there? He's a bloody idiot. There's one definitely behind that house. It's where the other one is that's worrying me. They should come down from that hill. I don't think they're going to do much good up there. They're obviously going to go round the back, but I don't think they're round the back. I reckon they're near the flag. They've got to be defending these guys. I'm going to have to start. 
moving forward, I think. We have to find this guy. Nobody else is doing it. If I can, by the time I get over there, though, those two guys up in the north might have got round there as well, so... Maybe we can go for a pincer move. Oh, hello, that's where you were hiding. Oh, shit, the other one as well. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn, my gun won't point down enough. Alright, that's both of them. Where's my teammate going? You got the flag for you, idiot! Serious? Oh, shit. Why is my teammate going for the flag? Get over here, finish these dudes off. I'm gonna try and put this house in this building between me and him. He's a heavyweight. Get an angle on him. Angle my armor. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. He probably thinks he's invulnerable. He's got such good armor. Ricochet? Fire? Hey, fifth. Let's slug it out, bro. Let's slug it. Not a hit taken! Oh, yes. You just got nailed. Five tanks. I'll take that. Freaking hell, it's Matilda. What's that? Mastery badge. Ace tanker. Oh, you bet I did. I owned it in this game. Mastery badge. Oh, brilliant. Wow, look at that. 29,000 credits. 3,500 XP. Oh, ho, ho. look at the shit I did. Oh, and another one. Steel wall. You're damn right. I tell you what, that Matilda... I didn't take any damage. It took such a battering. Oh, that was a great game, actually. That's probably one of the best games I've had in the Matilda. That thing can take an absolute battering. Slow as hell, but yeah. Learn how to use it. That's what I seem to have worked out. Hope you're enjoying the World of Tanks videos. Uh, that was another one from me, Matilda Mastery. Please don't forget to click on that like button and leave me a comment to let me know what you thought of the video and if you want to see some more tanking. Until then, take care, guys. See you soon.